In this video, I'm going to show you how to understand Rust language grammar, and we're going to do it with tree sitter. And at the end, I'm going to give you a bonus tip that's going to show you how to use the power of tree sitter to make awesome custom themes. Stay tuned to the end for that. Let's go. All right, I'm just popping around and hovering over different words to show what those words are in the syntax tree on the right in the tree sitter playground so you can hover over anything you like and see what those are you can also hover around items in the syntax tree and it'll show you where in your actual source file those things are so it's very powerful and you can go both ways to get an idea of how things work and truly understand the grammar of your language. My grandma was always correcting my grammar in an effort to make me a better speaker. Now, just like with spoken languages, having syntax and structure and grammar, computer languages also have syntax and structure and grammar, but formalized grammars in programming languages are usually free of context. And that will not cut it when you want to have a syntax tree built from tree sitter. So you need to use a tree sitter parser. Luckily, most of these parsers have already been built for popular languages. And one of those languages is Rust. Now here we see the notation for the Rust grammar in the Rust reference. And we can look at the items here for an example, when we have structs and function items and that sort of thing. And as we pop through, we can see all the different types of items. Impul item, function item, const item, mod item and the same goes with attributes we just take a look at the playground search for attributes the inner attributes here and we're able to see how those show up in the syntax tree and with all the different types of expressions if we look in the playground and search for expression we see the call expression field expression match expression closure expression if expression or expression Lots of expressions, and so you're really able to get in and see what the semantics are of all the different pieces of syntax and how they come together and how you can express what it is you're trying to do. Now you get the idea. You can go through the Rust reference, look for the different pieces of syntax where you want to look at them in the tree sitter syntax tree and you can get the grammar here and then go over to tree sitter and find these items and look at existing code bases and whatever else to see how this all comes together you'll get very familiar with rust grammar and it'll all start making a lot more sense to you now i encourage you to take a look at the tree sitter help that's built into NeoVim. There's a lot of good stuff there. You can do so much with Tree Sitter as far as building plugins and customizing your setup. And we all love customizing our setup. Definitely look at the NVim Tree Sitter plugin documentation as well. You can do so much with it. Just take a look and see what you can do and learn how to set that up. And if you want to write your own queries and get some of the power and build some plugins, definitely look at NVim Tree Sitter text objects for some good examples of how you might write your own queries. 
as promised, the greatest command on the planet, TS Highlight captures under cursor. It tells you what the highlight groups are under cursor. Need I say more? Life changing. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.